Hello, I'm Jenny Patton, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Oculus headset, how to connect to your Wi-Fi, and then we're going to go into the room and I'm going to do an orientation of triaging a patient um, in a simulated hospital. The first thing you need to know is that if you check out your headset, um, you will have a case like this, and in this case, you will have your controllers, you will have two controllers, you will have a charger, and this is a battery pack. This will stay on your headset, all right? So when you plug in the headset, you want to plug it into this port here. When you plug it into this port, it will charge the battery pack and the headset at the same time, all right? So that's important to know. The other thing is these headsets are labeled. As you can see inside this controller is the number one, all right? Your left should also have the number one in it and then your headset will also be labeled as number one. These controllers have been paired with this headset, so you wanna make sure that your controllers go along with your headset or it will not work properly, all right? Okay, so on this headset, when you get into your virtual reality world, there should be no blurred vision. Um, what you can do is inside this he headset, you see the goggles. There are three settings to these goggles. You can make them wider, or you can make them in and more narrow, okay? So you wanna make sure that your vision is completely clear with no blurriness. Also, this is your strap. You can make it bigger or smaller. So you wanna make sure that you adjust your headset when you get it on, that your vision is very clear, all right? To turn on your headset, you would hit this button one time, all right? And you'll see the blue light appear. To turn it off, you will hit this button twice and that will turn off the headset, all right? So I'm now gonna get into the headset and I'm gonna show you how to connect to your Wi-Fi um, if you are using this statewide. Now, if you come on campus and you're at the CEC, you will not have to set up the Wi-Fi um, on these headsets, they will already be preset for you. All right, we're gonna get into the environment now. As you can see, you want to make sure that you adjust the you adjust it, All right? Okay. All right. You have your controllers. It is smart to put your straps on um, because when you get into the case, you really get immersed in that case, and you don't want your controller flying across the room. Um, when you have your controllers on, you will know that it's in the right hand. Okay, but they are labeled right and left. All right. Okay. So as you can see, I'm in like this jungle environment, which is really neat. So you have your controllers on. Um, on your right controller, you have this embedded O right here. All right, you have the embedded Oculus symbol. And what I want you to do is click on that. When you click on that, you're gonna have a toolbar appear kind of below your eye level site, okay? And this is where you're gonna connect to your Wi-Fi and also access the SimX, okay? So this last icon, you're gonna click on that. Now, when you click on it, you're gonna use your uh, B button right here, all right, that selects it, or you can use your trigger. And these right here, these buttons are called your trigger button. And I'll go in more depth of your controller settings when we get into the room. All right, so I'm gonna select my apps. And then when you get into the apps, you're gonna find your green icon that is for settings, which is right here, okay? Um, this green icon settings may appear in different locations, but just make sure that when you're uh, going in to do your Wi-Fi, you just find the settings with the green icon and you select that, okay? From here, you're gonna go to your Wi-Fi and you're gonna get a list of available Wi-Fi's that you would connect to. So then you would click on that um, Wi-Fi and hit connect and that's when you would enter your Wi-Fi password, okay? and then click done, all right? So it'll connect to your Wi-Fi. If you have any issues, it'll say it's having issues connecting and try it again, all right? So the next thing that we wanna do is we have to create a boundary, all right? So when you're running a SimX, you wanna make sure that you have a very big circle for your boundary. And, and when you draw your boundary, when you get into your case and you are triaging a patient, if you step out of your boundary, you'll have this red cage appear and I will demonstrate that in just a minute. And that way it keeps 
you safe in your environment. So if you're doing this in your house uh, or in a room, um, you draw your boundary. So if there's furniture around you or file cabinets or desk, it'll keep you from hitting um, those objects in the room. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my boundary. Now I want you to watch specifically how I draw the boundary. It's really important because you're gonna set your floor level, okay? And then you're gonna draw a big circle. So I'm gonna to go to guardian right here. So if you have already closed out of this, let's say you didn't set your boundary yet or you need to reset your boundary. You're gonna click right back on that icon window. You will go to settings and then you'll go to guardian, okay? So over here, we're gonna adjust our guardian. So I want to adjust the guardian. So what it wants you to do now is it wants you to confirm your floor level, okay? So when you confirm your floor level, you're actually gonna bend down, you're gonna to touch the floor, come up and hit confirm. All right, now we're gonna draw our boundary, okay? You see how she has her arm kind of diagonal when she's drawing her boundary? That's what I want you to do. So you're gonna hold your arm out kind of like a diagonal and you're gonna draw a big circle making sure that you don't get objects in your circle because you don't want to hit that. So you're going to hold your button down, that B button, and you're going to draw a big circle all the way around. And then you're going to confirm it. All right, so we're going to continue and we're going to confirm our boundary. So now that we have drawn our boundary, we're going to go into the Simex application. And to do that, you're gonna click right back on that icon um, with the apps button, all right? And then you will have your Simex icon on this screen here. It may be in a different location, but just look for the white icon that says Simex and click on it. So now that we're preloading, we're gonna be um, in the Sim Lobby Hospital. So as you can see, I am in the hospital and it's downloading some assets uh, for the software. At this point, what you're going to do is you see this big box in the middle of your screen, all right? So you're going to, once the moderator starts the case, you should be able to click on search SIM groups right here and you're gonna use your B button, okay? Your select button. And you're gonna see the CEC WSOM uh, group code right here, okay? And you're gonna select that, all right? So it's gonna join the simulation. It's gonna download all the assets for the case. And now we're gonna get into the hospital room and I'm gonna do a very quick orientation of how to triage your patient. So we are now in our uh, patient, uh, patient's room and I'm going to orient you to the room and the different things that you can do in the room and how you will do that with your controllers, okay? So the first thing I want you to do when you go into the room is put your hands in front of your face, fist bump. So when you um, pick up anything in the room, you're gonna use your trigger finger right here. This is your trigger finger. You can see that it opens and closes my hand, right? So I'm gonna fist bump. I'm gonna keep my trigger fingers held down and I can fist bump, okay? So this is how you pick up things, right? And so then I'm gonna go through the other functionality of the room. So we have our patient here in the bed. The patient can talk to you. Everything that you need is in this room right here, okay? So the first thing you're gonna do, we have a nurse in this particular case, all right? So she's in the room, is you're gonna wash your hands. You're gonna scrub up, right? So we're gonna go over, we're gonna wash your hands, right? Again, I'm just holding my trigger finger down, okay? And I'm gonna put it in the trash. So now um, you're gonna to wanna to put your gloves on. Your gloves are on your wall, so you're gonna walk over. You're gonna grab a glove. Again, you're gonna use your trigger finger and you're gonna put it on one hand, grab it with the other, put it on the other. So you've got your gloves on, okay? All right, so we're using our trigger finger, okay? Let's cover this patient back up. So to grab, I'm gonna put the, her robe back on. So I'm holding my trigger finger down. Okay, I'm gonna put her, her gown back on and she's cold. So we're gonna cover her back up with the blanket. All right, and to let go, you just let go of your trigger finger, okay? So we have our patient in the room. You can lock the bed. So if you look down here, you can see that I have, I can put it, lock it or let it go and take the break off. Again, what I'm doing is I'm just holding my trigger finger down. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on lock, right? 
Over here we have our up and down where we can raise the bed up or we can put it down, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and move it down a little bit. Again, you're holding your trigger finger, okay? All right, so we have back here, you see your blood pressure cuff, your monitor leads, oxygen. You have a pulse ox in here. This is where your oxygen tank is. So when you go to hook up your oxygen, you will actually hook that up and turn it on. And I will demonstrate that in just a second. We have a phone. So in any time in a case, um, there could be an attending provider available. If you need some additional help, you can pick up the phone and call for help, okay? All right. Also on here, we have an EHR. So I'm gonna pick up the EHR by closing my trigger finger. And now I can see that I can do a patient overview. Now, to select anything on the EHR, if you just hover, you don't have to hold your, you don't have to hit your trigger finger or hit a button. If you just hover over it, you can see here where we'll pull up some information about this patient. You can see her patient overview, medical history. To go back, this arrow right here, you can go back. Okay, if I wanna see if there were any um, active orders on this patient, again, I'm gonna hover over it and you can see here she has some active orders and there's multiple screens to this. So if you just hover over the screen and swipe, you can get to the first and second, third screens, okay? I'm gonna go back again, all right? So you may have a case where you may have to do the ordering. You may have to order medications, you may have to order labs, um, EKGs, x-rays, and so you will use the EHR to do that. Again, if you go to laboratory and diagnostic results, if something has already been resulted on your patient, you can go there and look at the different lab results or other procedures that they had done, okay? So very easy. Again, I'm just hovering over that screen. I don't have to hit my trigger finger or button and I'm gonna go back, all right? So that is your EHR, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this down, all right? Okay. So um, you can talk to your patient regular. You see that she's a fall risk patient right here. Um, we can uh, double check her armband. She's already got an IV in here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and take her blanket off. Again, I'm using my trigger finger and I'm just gonna throw it over there. And is it okay if I remove your gown? So they're gonna say yes, so we're gonna remove her gown, okay? Now, over here are your cabinets. So you have medical supply cabinet and you have a linen cabinet, right? And you can open up any of these drawers. To open up or close, you're holding your trigger finger down. In this top drawer, you can see that you have a normal saline flush syringe, you have some alcohol swabs, you have a thermometer where you can take her temperature. Um, and you have a light pen, right? So if you wanna do an eye exam on this patient or a throat exam, if you come over and look at the patient, she will look at you and you can look inside her throat, okay? Again, you're just holding that trigger finger down, okay, to perform that exam. Perfect, all right. If you wanna take her temperature, come here. You can see here that um, she has a 36.9 Celsius temperature, all right. So I'm gonna put that back down. I'm gonna shut this drawer. Um, and then down here, you have your IV fluid. So if you wanted to hook her up to an IV, you can grab a bag and you can come over here and hook it up. Now, if you are starting IVs, you actually have to hover over and click start. Again, you don't have to click on a button. If you just hover over it, it'll start. And this is where you have to determine how much to give, okay? If you wanna stop an IV, you just hover over the stop button and it'll stop it. And you see here, where it says stop, okay? All right, so I'm gonna shut this drawer here. These are your linen drawers. You have some gowns, some extra sheets in here and some pillows, okay? Over here, you have your uh, uh, order entry for your medications. So if you wanted to order a medication, let's say you wanted to order some insulin, you hover over that. The insulin will appear on the table. So this is the tricky part. You're going to um, grab the insulin the medicine with your trigger finger. And you can see here that I'm holding that, that insulin in my hand, okay? Now you're gonna grab the syringe, okay? And you're going to insert it into your valve right here, okay? Now you're going to use your wheel, okay? So this is what I'm talking about. This wheel right here, this little black rubber thing is your wheel. And this is what we will use to, um, 
do the medication, either to fill your uh, syringe up and also to give it. So when you are um, inserting the medicine, you're gonna pull down on your wheel like that. And then when you give it, you're gonna push up on your wheel. Let me demonstrate that. All right, so I'm gonna grab the medicine and I'm gonna stick it in here and I'm gonna pull down. I wanna give her uh, 0.50 milliliters and I'm gonna hold that trigger finger down, okay? I'm gonna walk over, okay? And I'm going to inject it and I'm gonna push that wheel forward, okay? Now you may inject it subcutaneously or you may inject it into her IV depending on what medication you're giving her, okay? So that's how you do the medications is you have to utilize your wheels on your controllers. So we're gonna go ahead and get her hooked up to the monitor. I'm gonna get her blood pressure cuff on. Again, I'm using my trigger finger. I'm gonna put it on her arm. We have our uh, monitor leads. I'm gonna just drop it on her. So now we have her monitor on. You can see her vitals up here on the monitor. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do your oxygen. So if you wanna put her on oxygen, you're gonna grab it. You're gonna put it on her. And here you see the tube, okay? You see the tube, you're gonna grab that tube with your trigger finger and you're gonna put it on the oxygen and you're gonna turn it on, All right? Perfect, okay. Maybe that's a little too high. There we go, okay. So that is how you do her, uh, her to start her monitor. I'm also gonna put her pulse ox on and I see that pulse ox in the tray right here. So you see the pulse ox, I'm gonna put it on her finger, okay? So we wanna make sure that we're monitoring um, all of her vitals. Now, for the patient, you can do heart and lung sounds and you can feel pulses anywhere uh, the patient should have pulses. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if you hover, you don't have to click on a button. If you hover over her fetal pulses, you can feel that in your controller, okay? You can feel pulses where you need to, okay? All right, so I'm just hovering over the patient. Now I wanna listen to the heart and lung sounds and abdominal sounds. So I'm gonna grab the stethoscope. My trigger finger, grab the stethoscope. I'm holding that trigger finger down and I'm gonna listen to lungs. Okay. I'm gonna listen to heart and abdominal sounds. Okay, very easy. All right, I'm gonna put my stethoscope back down, okay? In some cases, you may have to intubate your patient. You may have to defibrillate your patient. So depending on your room, when you go into your room, you're gonna first define roles. Who is gonna be the lead um, in that encounter? Who's doing the EHR role? Who's doing the physical exam? Who's asking the history questions? And you wanna make sure you look at what everything is in your room. You may see a defibrillator in your room, all right? And the way that you do that is the same with IV. So if you go over to your defibrillator, you're just gonna hover over the wattage and start or stop it, okay? Um, and so that is basically your orientation to the room. When you have your, also, excuse me, your um, needle bucket over here, so you wanna uh, practice good patient safety and precautions, so you wanna make sure you put your needles in your bucket. Um, if you get stuck in a case, again, you can pick up the phone and call the operator, all right? So I'm gonna cover this patient back up. All right, we're gonna put her gown back on and her blanket because she's cold. Okay, so that is your basic orientation to your exam room. Remember, always wash your hands, put your gloves on, start putting your monitor leads on, the patient's blood pressure. If they need oxygen, you can put it on. If they don't, you don't have to put the oxygen on depending on your case. Um, have fun, this is a great learning experience. Enjoy this technology and I look forward to working with all of you.